Okay, here's your quick tip. This one comes from Jim Moyer, artist, uh, Idaho artist Jim Moyer, who invented this himself, and I thought it makes a really, really good little tool and would also make a good quick tip. He calls it a value wheel. And what he's done here, he's uh, he invented this on canvas. It can be done on cardboard or any material that's sturdy. Simply divide um, a, a disc into four parts and um, and, and paint them with values 2, 4, 6, and 8. You see what that does? It gives you value areas, general areas, um, for in light, or, or in, let's say first of all for in shadow, and not in shadow. Now I added the little holes. Uh, he, the way he's designed this is to be used in plain air, where you hold it, you hold it ahead of you, like this, and compare, uh, squint, of course you squint, squint and you compare the values uh, against the edge with the values you're looking at. I put the little holes in there to make that even better. So I want to show you quickly um, how you can can create a four, um, four value wheel. Well, let's just call it a value wheel. Uh, and so all you need are just uh, any kind of sturdy material. This is the uh, eight inch foam core. You could use canvas, it doesn't matter. I just chose a, a mayonnaise jar lid and I'm going to start with a mayonnaise jar lid and just simply um, draw a circle around it. Now so that I can get these little uh, quadrants here equal, I'm just going to do a little thing here where I take my uh, triangle and align one side, one edge of the triangle against the edge of, of the of the uh, disc, the circle, and and the other one the same, like that, and then flip it over and do that again, like this. Okay, let's see, get that nice and aligned there. That's simply to to be able to get those those equal. Oh, I could have done that the other way too, but uh, there we go. And um, then with a ruler. The, that makes it th exactly three inches either way, and so an inch and a half here, um, from line to line, an inch and a half here, and then we get an exact division, and we do that on the other side, uh, inch and a half here, and inch and a half here, and there we got it. And from that point. It's a matter of, of cutting out the disc with X-Acto knife. Um, <clears throat> you, you need a really, really sharp and new X-Acto knife. You know X-Acto knife points do get dull uh, with use, and so it's, it's a good idea to have um, one that's a new point. Now, one, one way that you can do this and make it work without getting all ragged is to always allow your eye to follow just in front of the knife rather than on the blade itself. It's a little trick I learned a long time ago from a framer where if you, your eye always is on the line in front of the knife or scissors in fact rather than on the tool itself and it will always go where it's supposed to go. That's a, we should have made a quick tip about that one, huh? This is just an additional little quick tip. Um, and you see it meets right there. And, um, and you have the disc. <coughs> Oops. Okay. Then, uh, what I have here is acrylic. I think Jim used oil. It doesn't matter what color you, uh, what uh, what paint you use. Um, I have acrylic here, and um, I've taken black acrylic with gesso and mixed four values of paint. And so you know, all you have to do at this point now is simply paint the little disc and uh, the one way you can be sure that you get those values just right is um, by using a value scale. Now you can go to our website at dianemize.com. We have on our video website we have some free materials at the very bottom uh, and you can download this for free and print it and so you've got a really really good little value scale. So 
value eight belongs in in one one quadrant like that and you know this is pretty much self-explanatory from here on if, if uh, as I said before if you mix these values ahead of time mix them before you actually start painting and then compare your mixtures to a value scale to be sure that you're pretty much um, on the mark there that will enable uh, more accuracy and um, make it make it uh, more usable and then this is value six here here we go like that and then value four it's value the values here are two four six and eight those are really good um, general value areas <clears throat> to work with uh, when you when you're looking for a general area of either um, in shadow or not in shadow when you're plant, plant, painting in plain air so there we go that's this is value four and uh, this out. Then we go to value two. This is value two. Value two is is better to have than than. Oops, I, I hit the wrong one there. Value two is better to have than value one because value one is absolutely white. Absolute white. You find very few value one um, values one in nature. That's it. That and now you've got your little value wheel. You could choose to punch holes if you wanted to. If not, you simply throw this in your pocket, go out in nature, and do your plein air painting. So there's your quick tip. Thanks to Jim Lloyd.